I've got a few solar panels with broken glass. Not only do they have cracked glass, they also have some other problems associated with that as well. Some have broken solar cells. Some have corrosions that damage both the tapping wires and the solar cells. Today we'll put them to the test to see if they still produce any power at all. I'm thinking about refurbishing these panels by sealing up the glass to protect them from the rain. But first I need to know if they still produce any power and if they do, how much power do they produce? Let's find out. So here I got two identical solar panels here. They are made by Sun Power and they are each 327 watts. And that's one of the highest power solar panel you can get on the market today. I'm going to do a test to compare the power output between the two. On the left here I've got a cracked panel. On the right the panel is perfectly fine. You can see the cracked panel on the left here looks a little bit cloudy. Whereas on the right side the panel looks nice and clean. Take a close up look here. And that's the only difference between the two. So now I'm going to do a test and compare the output between the two panels. So first of all, let's do a voltage test here. On the cracked solar panel, we got about 58.8 or 59 volts. Next is the good panel. And we got 59.4 volts. So the difference is 0 0.5, 0 0.6 volts. So there's not much difference in the voltage output between the two panels. The good panel puts out about half a volt more than the cracked panel. My next test is the current output test. And for this test, I'm going to have to put the solar panel under load. I'm using the heating element salvage from an old oven. And this is the cracked solar panel and it's given out five and a half amp right so next is my good solar panel and this is the current output test and it's putting out 6.1 amp the other one is five and a half amp so basically it's only about what less than 10% different between the cracked panel and a good panel. Now let's see how hot the heating elements will get. 250 degrees Celsius. Wow, that's hot. My next test is another Sun Power 327 watts solar panel. This panel here also has a cracked glass. But the damage is a lot more than the previous one that I tested. It's got an impact right here. And the damage go through the solar cell and made it through the back of the panel. So you can see it through. So the solar cell here, this cell here is damaged. The cracks on the glass is a little bit more severe. It's broken into smaller pieces. As you can see here on this side, it's more severe than this side. This side is cracked, but the broken pieces are bigger. On this side, broken pieces are smaller. So it's actually blocking the sun more than the other side. also down here so the Sun reflects more on this side than the other side and here we get 56.6 volts 56.7 so about 57 volts the label says 65 volts max but we will never get that voltage because it's tested on the lab I've tested on a good panel and the maximum I get is about 60 volts. So it's just a, about what 3 to 4 volts less than the uh, good panel.
as you can see earlier I also tested a cracked panel and compared to a good one and the cracked panel only produce about 10% less power than a good panel but this one here produce almost half compared to the good one so I think the damage on this one is more extensive uh, the cracks produce a lot smaller fragments and it, it reflects the sunlight out instead of absorbing the sunlight and also uh, the damage goes through one of the solar cells so that's why we got much less output on this one the next one I have is another Sun Power 327 watt solar panel this one also has a crack class but the damage is not as extensive as the one I just tested um, all of the solar cells are still good there are no damage to the solar cells My previous cracked solar panel can produce up to 90% less power than a good one but this one here only produce up to 65% power compared to a good one even though there's no damage to the solar cells I think the reason is because this crack here on the top of the panel is more extensive it produces a lot of smaller fragments and it turns white so it reflects most of the sunlight same here on the bottom of the panel where there's also a damage on the bottom and it has more fragments and you can see that it turns white so it re reflects most of the sunlight my next test is a different solar panel this one is a 260 watt solar panel and it's polycrystalline the class is also cracked but the difference is that it's been exposed to the rain and the water got through the glass and short out the uh, tapping wire and then short out the solar cell there are a lot of spots here that water got in and damaged the solar cell and it goes all the way to the back of the panel and corrode the back of the panel also so it went through the solar cell all the way from the front to the back this panel maximum voltage it can put out is about 37 volts and the current is about 8 amp max so my first test here is the voltage test you got 33.2 volts so that's pretty close even though the damage is extensive next is the power test let's see how much current this thing can produce 3 amp so the label says about eight and a half amp max we got about 3 amp that's about 30 percent so um, that's not bad considering it's got a lot of damage on this panel This is another 260 watt polycrystalline solar panel with cracked glass. It's the same as the previous one that I just tested. The only difference is that the water goes through the glass and short out the terminal on the top here. This is right at the junction box. Right on the top of the panel. And this is the back of the panel where it goes through the junction box and probably damage the inside of the junction box you can see here the corrosion goes down where the water line goes goes down all the way down and here is the voltage test on the panel you got absolutely nothing zero volt so this panel is not producing anything because the shortage is right at the junction box and that is the end of my test what I've learned from these tests is that solar panels with broken glass, they are still usable. How much power you can get out of it depends a lot on the extent of the damage. 
If the glass is just cracked and there's no impact damage, it's more likely that the panel will still produce power up to 90% its normal output. If it has an impact damage that causes the glass to shatter into smaller bits, it will produce a very reflective area that blocks the sun ray from entering the solar panel. That will greatly reduce the power output of the solar panel. And if the impact damage is strong enough, it will make a hole through the solar cell and that will bring down the power output of the entire panel. Because all of the solar cells are connected in series, just one bad cell can bring down the power output of the entire panel. Now that I found some good panels, my next project is to try and find a way to seal the cracks on the glass so that water doesn't get in and shut out the tapping wires and the solar cells. And that will be my next project. Until then, see you next time.